Good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. and I'm just about to head out to the train station. Minor setback. I missed my first train, but we are on the next one. at London it is a beautiful day we may have been unlucky with the trains but the weather today is gorgeous blue skies and Sun I'm just so excited to be here um, we're on our way now to a cafe called Terry's where we're gonna enjoy a full English breakfast I've been dreaming at this I cannot wait Okay, we took a quick spin through Borough Market and I did get the famous chocolate covered strawberries. But as soon as I heard over the PA system, uh, beware pickpockets and policemen like running throughout, I was like, mm, <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here before I get robbed. But these do look so good and the amount of chocolate is divine. <laughs> So I do have about an hour and a half before my visit at Tower Bridge. I think I'm just gonna sit in this really pretty square. It's very calm. <laughs> Compared to Borough Market, it's very calm. I think the reason it was so busy is because I foolishly went at lunchtime. So you have all the tourists there, you have all the workers who are just gonna get their lunch on their lunch break. Okay, let's head to Tower Bridge. Climbing up the tower, there's a total of 206 steps. This part of London we had one bridge, London Bridge. It wasn't the bridge we had today, it was slightly narrow. At its worst moments, it could take you three hours to get across. <laughs> People seem to be really freaked out by the glass floors at the top of the bridge. Let me show you. These would have been what the old engines lifting the bridge that the boats go through would have looked like. So cool. I just got out of the tube and there's Big Ben. 
It really is a very impressive clock. It doesn't look like it, but it's huge. We're in St. James Park by the lake over there and I have some time so I thought I would hike up towards Buckingham Palace. As the sun sets, it's definitely getting a little bit more chilly. It's about 4.15 and my train leaves at 8 p.m. But I just looked at the email they sent me and I have to be there one hour and a half before departure. So I really have to be back at the train station around 6, 6.15. So that gives me just enough time to go see Camden Market, which is great because that's something I really wanted to see on this trip. But I gotta be quick if I don't wanna miss my evening train. I learned from this morning. <laughs> I can't do any more fast food, you guys, so I'm gonna try and find a salad in the grocery store. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere to sit. Everybody got here an hour and a half early and is just waiting for their train. It's wild. Okay, while we're waiting for a train, I thought I would do a mini haul for you guys. I got this wrap from the grocery store, these carrots and hummus, and this smoothie. For four pounds, which isn't bad. I just could not do any more takeout food, so I didn't get anything from Camden Market, although everything looked really good. I have about an hour <laughs> until the gates for my train open. We just got back to Paris. It's 11.30. And Jean, because he's the best man in this world, he's picking me up at the train station. It's all good, because I brought him some snacks. 